So what are template? Template defines the structure and the behavior of the items. So if you consider your normal .NET project and in that term you must be doing the table design or database design. So it is similar to that in table design or a database design you define what are the tab tables you require, what are the columns required in that tables, what is the length of that column, what type of a column it is, what is foreign key, what is primary key, what is the master data, what are you, what you store in the master table. So all those kind of activities you, you you are you are also doing it in the sidecar, but that is but we are doing it for for the content okay and there are some different terminology okay so for uh, our uh, uh, exercise let's take an example so assume that we have to build this page okay so uh, let's consider this wire command so first thing which we will do as a uh, as a uh, sidecar uh, architect or a sidecar developer okay that is the breakdown this uh, this page into the modules okay if you remember the helix principle first break down those into the modules okay so if i break down this page into the different modules you will have a header here you will have a title here and you have a hero banner your feature information part then you have a feature cda and if you see you have a footer okay so now for our uh, study purpose we will pick only fee hero banner feature information and feature CT. so we will consider feature cta feature information and hero banner okay so if you want to hold uh, the information related to feature CTA, so this part okay where you have an image and this detail so what is what is required for feature ct okay so first thing is a image okay to hold it will, it will hold the image then it will hold the title then it will hold the short description you have a button text and the uh, url also when you click on the button it will go to the sub url okay so these are the information which is required for feature city so what what is required for a information part so this part okay so if you see here you will need a title then you have a short description there then you have a button text okay and then the click of it, it will be uh, it will be direct to some uh, some uh, other URL. Okay, and now to consider the banner, what is required here in the banner is an image. Then you need a URL. If you click on it, it might go to the another. So that is uh, the URL. Okay, so this is the information it holds. This is the first thing which we find out. Okay, then if you observe, there are some information which is common, like short description, button text, URL image okay so if you distinct it if you separate out those okay you are then what will happen is if you see just take an image block okay so in the image block you will have the image and the url okay then if you see the meta description or a meta block where you will have a title a short description if you take a button you have a button text and the post url okay so if you see if this this six fields are covering all these three information so this is the second activity which you have to do first of all you find out all the all the uh, break down the uh, the model uh, model small models find out what are the fields required and then find out the distinct common fields okay and so you will get like this now what happens in sidecore is sidecore uh, uh, Sidecore supports the inheritance. Okay, so Sidecore support a multiple inheritance. So you can have one uh, one item can have a multiple uh, one template can have a multiple templates inherited. Okay, so if you consider that concept, and if I take the feature CTA, okay, and in that feature CTA, if I inherit image block that is image URL and the uh, image and the image URL. Okay then if i consider the meta block it will consider title and the short description if i consider button block it will consider button text and post url okay so this is how it will it will cover everything okay so this is called a inheritance okay so this is your template and you inherited this other three templates so these are the three templates this is a, this is basically you can call as a base template also so this temp three template gets in inherited into the feature CTF, which will cover all the things okay now the another one it was the feature information okay now if you want to feature information then if i consider meta block and button block then it will it will cover everything okay and hero banner it is actually image block only okay so this is how overall you will define a template okay so first thing is break down your uh, your uh, 
to check the wireframes okay and from the wirebox you more break down all your modules and okay and for each model see what are the templates required for each template what are the frames required then find out what are the common fields are there and then from that common field you make out the common uh, common templates and then you you try to inherit those common template in the main template that is how you should be designing your the te your template and and, and i will recommend uh, for any project any side for project you should document all those things before starting actually creation of the uh, template